decided to take the plunge. It has uh, bothered me for a while. This thing's been sitting for three years on concrete blocks, which are sinking into the ground. You can see, especially right here, that one really sank. It's been bumped around a little bit and I uh, had to put some extra two by underneath there just to get it to sit back on the block. So I'm always afraid that I'm going to end up with twist in the rails, which I mean, I've re-leveled it this year, but it's just time to redo this base. So I've got to move the entire sawmill out of the way. I'll take the head unit off, set it aside, and then I'll move the tracks, set them aside. Uh, I'm just going to use the tractor, that way I don't have to take everything apart. And then uh, get those set aside, and then I'm going to scrape this out, and I'm going to put uh, pieces of 6x6 six six that are wider than the tracks. And uh, I don't know what I figure I needed, 8 of them? Maybe, I might go more than that. I might go more like 10 of them. Uh, but anyway, I'm going to put 6x6s six six down there, and use the laser to get them level. And I think that'll be enough surface area that it won't sink anymore. It'd be far better than the blocks, which are on their sides, and so the, they sink right down in, cut right down into the dirt. So, yeah. Decided it's just time to do something about that. So, here's the tractor. Let me get some cameras set up, and we'll get started. Here we go.
it's uh that's a good set of tracks it's kind of like a railroad tracks now but anyway that was uh a bit of work especially trying to get the things level i was going to use the laser and the battery and the damn thing was dead and i stuck it out there for a second and tried to use it and it just kept shutting itself off so i was like you know what i don't want to wait for it to charge so i just brought out the four footers and leveled across each one and and uh put the whole thing on top of there and when i put a level on top of the bunks uh they're spot on so i am not upset but uh yeah that's a whole lot better not to mention it let me get all the uh bullshit grass and stuff that was growing up through there got that out of there so it looks a lot cleaner of course the grass is going to come back there's already you know remnants of grass in there that are just going to re regrow but for the time being i am free of grass so i can finish cutting up logs i got uh well a lot of that pile done although i had to move some of it because i didn't want to mess around with it but i've got uh this stack over here that I took out of it was just the smaller stuff that I didn't uh, want to mess with at the time. And I'm probably still going to cut it up into lumber, at least some of it. Some of it will become firewood. So, then I got uh, that big walnut there. I think the mill can handle that one. I'll have to do some trimming of the nubs and knots on it. Uh, I don't know how good of uh, wood it's going to be because there are a lot of knots in it, but We'll see. And then I got this big guy here, which will fit on the mill. And I'm going to cut it up. And then the big guy you see behind it is the one I got to do with the chainsaw mill. Because uh, it's kind of a it's kind of a monstrosity. Yeah, that's a big log. Wider than the mill will go. And I got a piece over there. It's a red maple. Nice big one. And it is probably spalted because it's been sitting for a while, so that'll be some nice wood. Yeah, I can guarantee it's spalted. You see the fungus are growing out of it? Yep, that's going to be spalted. So, I'll have to get on that one. Get it cut up so we can stop the spalting. And I've got some cedar sitting over here and a couple of oaks that are, they're short, but they're big. So, I think one of them I can get on the, on the, chainsaw on the uh, bandsaw mill but the other one is going to have to be chainsaw it's uh it's a bit bigger yeah and then i gotta clean all this mess along here up because i want to turn this back into yard over here so all this stuff is the goal is by the end of the summer to have this all done i've got other projects going too i got a, a big modification to the barn and uh, i already took out the fence over here so i can back up in there when i'm putting logs on the mill and I took uh, my raised beds that I had here and took them out front to the new big garden and then scraped all the dirt down. And it's not completely done, but I got to start on it. And uh, I've actually got strawberries back there. I don't want to mess with them, so I'm trying to stay away from that area. Uh, they're wild strawberries. They're little tiny ones. But... And then we've got our blackberries are uh, all in this... Uh, area right here on the other side of this fence I mean lots of lots of them hard to walk through there without getting thorns but anyway those will be coming to bloom here before long yeah lots of fun stuff all right guys that's it for today thanks for watching and we will see you the next time who knows what the heck we'll be doing then all right laters Bye.